Okay, so I'd next like to invite Babak. Um, he's our C4 convener. Hi, good, on, good morning. <laughs> I seem to have too much fun. So uh, thank you, everyone. My name is Babak Bessad, and I apologize. Seems that everyone had photo of themselves. I actually omitted that. So let's introduce uh, the scope of uh, study committee uh, C4, basically. It covers a very wide range of uh, activities. And what I've actually included are the uh, three uh, preferential subjects that uh, for the past three or four years we have actually settled. Uh, I actually put everything uh, together. And basically, these uh, are phenomena ranging from, let's say, zero hertz or very close to zero hertz <laughs> to several megahertz, basically, uh, which uh, they might seem very unrelated islands and why they all come together and you know, uh, form part of the uh, C4 activities. The main component that brings all this together is the elements and the focus of uh, power system modeling and simulation, and the great presentations that the uh, uh, other conveners presented. Our focus is really uh, to look at components, but more so on the power system as a whole, and what it takes to model and simulate the power system right now, and in the transition. So it includes aspects of power system operation, but also planning and looking at the uh, future. So this is basically what we have had for many years, and the, uh, the three preferential subjects, basically. Now, the study committee chair is uh, Marta Valescadero from Ireland. So we have 46 members from uh, 43 countries. And we have 44 active uh, working groups. I'll actually talk about that in a second, basically. And also, we have uh, 41, I believe. Russell, I mean, just missing one compared to you. So you still get the gold medal. <laughs> So uh, what is happening in uh, C4? So here I try to uh, reflect some of the uh, salient points. On the right-hand side is the composition of those uh, 44 uh, working groups. And I don't seem to know how to write 44. So I've written 43 actually here. So I need to learn, basically. That's <laughs> part. So in terms of new working groups, uh, we have had actually quite a few. And there will be uh, a few basically happening uh, in next year, basically. Currently, we have. Uh, three working group conveners, uh, two uh, from working groups that uh, form and uh, led by C4, and one is the working group that uh, led by Christian and uh, he mentioned. And most likely we will have a fourth uh, working group convener next year from Australia. So that's quite uh, pleasing to see. Uh, we have had eight uh, technical brochures that published uh, since uh, past 12 months. Having said that, the very first one is uh, uh, actually one, but uh, divided into part A, B, C, D, et cetera. In any case, we have had uh, eight uh, published uh, working group. I believe, Alex, you're referring to 24 published for the past uh, 12 months. So I think this is quite good to see. One third uh, come from C4, basically. So we have also been quite active in uh, webinars. So we have had three webinars. And again, referring to those uh, you know, preferential subject or the different focus areas. <laughs> And this is the team that uh, you will see in my next few slides. And similar message that I conveyed to for those of you that were present in my presentation 12 months ago. So of the three areas, the one that uh, we see most activities, especially here in Australia, is the power system dynamic uh, performance. The first uh, webinar was the one based on uh, the work that uh, completed by C456. Uh, and uh, a uh, webinar was presented. Also, uh, we had uh, this actually, the technical brochure was the second most downloaded uh, of uh, any uh, uh, technical brochure in eCigre. Again, the number one was uh, B1. Russell, you'll be double pleased now. <laughs> so we, we missed actually to that. The other two also were based on a very uh, great and timely work that uh, presented by working group or by other experts. So these are all recorded. If you are interested, please uh, go to eSecret and uh, listen to them. We also have a uh, green book. This is the real first one that we are leading in C1. We initially went for a, like a compact book, but Seagra and Springer asked us to convert it to a major reference work. So it will definitely be published in July. So you will have the hard copy uh, for the uh, Paris session. And there has been a lot of great contributions from Australia, so I'd like to thank everyone. It's really in final stages. We are finalizing it. 
We have also had uh, two publications, both from my former colleagues and friends at AMO, uh, published uh, at uh, Secret Science and Engineering Journal, and also for the Cairns Symposium, which I got in a second in more detail. Uh, the best paper or selected paper was from uh, Australia, from Tasmania, basically, that uh, will be soon published in Science and Engineering Journal. So again, good activity. Uh, looking at Cairns, I think, Angela, you mentioned 240 papers of which we had uh, 45 from uh, C4 in Australia, so that's, I don't know what number it would be, like maybe 20, more than 20%. So it's great basically to see. Again, we see that it's a little bit disproportionate, but that's the re reality of Australian industry, that 70% of which is coming from the, uh, uh, or 80% actually coming from uh, PS1. We also had a workshop uh, that uh, coordinated by myself with so many uh, great expert presentation from Australia. We had 250 presentations, similar photo that Greg was showing. We had uh, similar uh, experience that people are standing up. And I'd also like to thank all the volunteers, uh, session chairs and experts from uh, Australia that help us to make this a successful event, so thank you. Now, for the next year, I think, Angela, you also mentioned 29 we had accepted, so six of which uh, coming from C4. Uh, we had uh, five, actually, originally, but one was uh, agreed between this A1 and C4 uh, conveners that it's best to be for C4. So we kind of returning to the numbers that we had in 2018. So we had six, and then it dropped because of all the COVID issues. So it's great to see that we are back. Again, you can see PS1, obviously power system and uh, dynamic performance. That's where most of the focus in Australia coming from. One thing that probably my uh, colleagues didn't mention, it, uh, and that's to my knowledge is uh, basically the kind of trend that we are seeing that there is more scrutiny from all the study committees to reject basically papers. Uh, previously, the acceptance rate above 90%, but now I, I see that in C4, C2, and maybe B4 is around 60 to 65%. So hopefully we will really have uh, quality papers, uh, more, even better quality than uh, what we have seen, which creates a challenge actually, how this is going to be uh, organized in a GDM, and our GDM actually going to be on, on Friday, so we don't have any opportunity to even go to 6 p.m. that secret allows. So this is basically uh, the uh, list of presentation. I apologize for a small format, but they are all, again, available on KMS. I don't see any reason why any of you could not have access to any of that. So this was uh, held in 2nd of September, and because we had so many presentations, we decided that from this year we will have it as a two-year, uh, sorry, two-day event, excuse me. And uh, basically, that's all for me. Thank you.